young people underestimate who they are. Jeremiah said, what could I possibly do? I'm just a youth. Paul told Timothy, don't let anyone look down on you because you are young. Traditionally speaking, the church has underestimated young people. Why do we do this? When you look at the apostles, all of them, for the most part, I think except John, was under the age of 20. Jeremiah was 16. David was 16 or 17. We could go on and on. Josiah was eight. On and on, you see, God has never looked at age when he decides to anoint someone and use someone. The elderly but I'm old, my time's past, my best years are behind me. You have no idea what your presence does. You have no idea what your sacrifices have meant. You have no idea what your faithfulness says to the up and coming generation. You model the way, you are an inspiration. You, you are without any question a light to people trying to find out how do I do this? Not just one year or two years, but decade upon decade upon decade. How do I give my life entirely to the kingdom? You're the Caleb. You're here saying your spirit should say at 80, I'm still just as strong as I was when I'm young. Give me that mountain. You say, I go to an everyday job. I'm a blue collar worker. I wake up at five. I go, I work with my hands. I'm no threat. Gideon was a farmer. When God found him, he's in the wine press threshing wheat. He's a blue collar worker. God didn't go to seminary when he decided to find someone that could be mighty for his kingdom. You underestimate who you are. But if you could eavesdrop on hell right now, if you could see how hell sees you, you would be encouraged by your enemy. It's one thing to be encouraged when God says you're a mighty man or a mighty woman of valor. It's another thing to be encouraged by your brothers, the 300 that stood against an enemy that greatly outnumbered them. That's another thing to have them encourage you. But God said the final way you overcome the fear that's facing you is you have to go listen to what your enemy is saying and it will encourage you. And you know what Gideon discovered? Hell was having nightmares about him. The enemy is having nightmares that you'll catch, that you'll gather in any way, shape, or form, that this is about more than just attending church. This is about more than just showing up and sitting in a seat. When you and I show up, God is up to something, and hell fears that you would get a revelation of what your life is really all about. <laughs> 